<sighs> hey folks, been a while. What, a year now? Yeah. About time I, uh, yeah. About time I start uh, making videos again. So, topic of today. We're gonna make some torches. I had a video made not too long ago that uh, has been really taking off and showing some interest and you know, I thought I'd make another video. Um, this one won't be as beginnery. Um, there will be some uh, welding involved and uh, we're also gonna have to utilize a tap. But everything else is stupid straightforward. This torch is uh, probably one of the designs that I favorited uh, that I stumble across. The other ones, I mean, I've got a bunch of them. Each one of these is a new endeavor to try and make a torch. And I didn't like any of them. They were too fussy, they couldn't, you couldn't really get them right. I just threw them aside. Anyway, this is the one that I like the most. Uh, this isn't its final version, this is the version I'm gonna be showing you guys. I am gonna be eventually making my own torches and selling them on my website, that's uh, turnerforge.com. Instead of having all these plumbing parts aside from the nipple in the middle, I'm going to actually forge the parts out, and it's gonna make it a little more aesthetically appropriate for, you know, a uh, blacksmith. Without any further ado, I think we should break into it. I'll start out by explaining you what parts actually go into the build. We can get you rolling on making a, a good torch. So, parts. This is uh, essentially all you're gonna need in order to build this, uh, this torch. Obviously, what's not pictured here is the drill or the welder. This is a piece of scrap reforced square that I had. And this is basically gonna be what holds this together. It's gonna act as a mount for the delivery orifice. Quarter inch round or whatever small stock you have. It doesn't have to be quarter inch round. It's just, you know, that's what I have. It's my scrap. Two, three fourths to one, in, one and a quarter reducers. A 10 inch by three fourths inch nipple. It doesn't have to be 10 inch. You can go down to eight inch. I wouldn't go any higher than 10 inch, however, because 12 inch or something like that would be just a little bit overkill. We've got a three inch quarter inch nipple, quarter inch cap, 27 by 64 inch bit. That basically is the same width as the quarter inch nipple. And a 364 inch Dremel bit. You can find those in the Dremel section in any big hardware store. Just go ahead and get a, a regular, uh, you know, tap for uh, a set screw. Uh, it doesn't have to be the same exact one. I got a quarter inch by 20 set screw um, and the appropriate tap and drill for it. This is my Teflon tape. Um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting the yellow stuff, the gas rated stuff, because propane is a corrosive gas and it will eat through this Teflon tape eventually. And the reason I have it now is because I didn't want to run to the store and go get some fucking Teflon tape. So this is what I got. It's a temporary setup. Anyway, this is all that goes into the build. This manifold attachment assembly, I'm going to leave that up to you because I'm not going into that. Just figure out how to go from a quarter inch to a three-eighths flare. Make sure you got a shutoff valve in there somehow, a gas-rated shutoff valve. This is just how to build the torch. Okay, so first things first, I think I should kind of explain the general knowledge on how a torch actually works. The torch has th four sec separate sections, okay? You have the flare nozzle. These aren't the exact names, by the way. The flare nozzle, you have the body, you have the inlet cone, and you have the fuel delivery source, okay? Basically what's happening when your torch is working, your ignition, all your all your, your fuel and your air and everything, they're all captured up in this little cone. And what's going on is they have a little pocket right here, like a little expansion pocket because it's bigger than the body. These gases, when they ignite, they expand, causing a vacuum to suck air and gas in through here. This funnel, if you will, what it does is it creates like a jet stream and it increases the velocity through the tube because it's taking a big, great deal of air from out here and it's shrinking it down to this small little tube right here. It is spitting it out the other side. That's what gives it that kind of jet. And then you have your delivery. So basically what, what's going on is it's shooting propane down the middle of this. I mean, try to get it as true as possible and it mixes up in this tube, catches on fire, expands and throws it out. That's the general knowledge on how a torch actually works. So first order of business, we need to assemble this piece right here that's gonna be holding the quarter inch nipple. And we're gonna start with this three four square that we have. You know, a lot of you don't actually have drill presses. A regular drill will work. So when you're drilling this hole, you don't actually have to have this straight up and down. Like 
if you if it's a little off or whatever it's fine as long as it's a straight hole because of the way we mount it is you know it makes it not that big of a deal so i'm going to go ahead and drill the hole speed it up so you guys don't have to sit here and watch it all right we got a hole so the next thing we got to do is we got to switch the bits out and we're going to drill the tapping hole right here for our set screw. Okay, so we got a hole right here and we got a hole right there. We're going to tap this hole and this is we're going to be where the quarter inch uh, nipple goes. Put it in our vise here. And get it as straight as you, you can. Grab our tap wrench. Cutting oil. Start our cut. Voila, tap that shit. Okay, that's down. All right, so next step, we need to take this and put a bend in it, because what's gonna happen is eventually we're gonna be welding this, and it needs to be about the right height for this to be able to go all the way in. So I'm probably just gonna put a bend eh, somewhere in the middle. Okay. So, just gonna kind of eye it about halfway. You can, you can kind of fudge this. This isn't a big deal. Bent in half. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to weld it to the side of this. Kind of figure, you know, exactly where you want to line it up on here. And you always cut that off later. There we go. So I just kind of mounted it so it's nice and centered. Can you see that? Maybe you'll see that. So let's weld this up. align this bad boy. So here I have an alignment tool I made. Something you guys can kind of make if you want. What this basically is, is I have a machine straight rod right there. I have a little half inch fitting. I drilled it out so I could fit this rod through. This rod is basically the same size as a quarter inch nipple. Put a set screw in it. And I got a 3 fourths reducer to half inch. That way it's nice and straight. And just tighten that down. Just like that. This is going to be my alignment tool. It's a little wiggly, but that's okay. What we're going for is just how it's aligned this way. Like that. It doesn't matter or, or this way. As long as this orifice is pointing straight down the tube, we're okay. So first we're going to back this out just a smidge, leave that loose, put this on here, it's still warm, there we go, we'll tighten this guy up just like that, and then we'll take this guy, we want to make sure that this threaded set screw hole is facing away from the mount, so it's going to go just like that. There we 
go. All welded up. Slides right in there like that. Boom. Okay, what do we have left? Let's see. Take this cumbersome thing off. Alright. Let's go ahead and drill a hole for our jet. Now, the thing about these Dremel bits is they don't do so well inside of a drill. I've used a drill, like a handheld drill. To drill it out but it seems to like the high speed of the actual Dremel bit so if you got a Dremel great if you don't best of luck to you I like to try to get as centered as I possibly can so the little nipple that's on the or the the little center mark from the milling that kind of gives you a good indication of where it's at that'll work yeah, no, it came in this little pack, 364, it's not 132nd, a 364 is the one that you need. 132nd, that's about the equivalent of probably a .25 MIG tip. We want to go for a .30 MIG tip. Alright, let's put this on. There we go, we got a little hole. Now the trick about these though, just a little side note is they're going to heat up. Regardless, they're so small of a little piece of metal that any time you drill with steel, they're going to heat up and that ruins your bits. So what I like to do is just let the, let the weight of the Dremel kind of guide you down. Don't force the bit. Let the bit do the work. Okay, so next we want to take our quarter inch nipple and put some Teflon tape around it. Again, please use the gas rated. Do not use this regular Teflon tape. So we're gonna take our quarter inch. You really only need three wraps, but I give it maybe about five, six, just cause. Nice and tight. So it forms a good seal. Now, side note. Um, when you're actually using your torch, especially if you're using tape and stuff, um, if you got brazed fittings or welded fittings, that's fine. But when you're using your torch and you have it as a, a vertical mount, you need to make doubly sure that you have no chimney effect going on. What a chimney effect is, basically when your forge is hot and this is vertical like this, heat will rise up into here and it'll bake your tip and if you have like teflon tape or a pipe sealant or whatever it'll ruin that and if it ruins that then your seal's no good and you're going to be licking gas everywhere so what we got to do next is we got to take this guy we're going to stuff it up in there we have to come up from the bottom because obviously you can't put that cap through this hole that we made we're going to put our set screw in there don't necessarily need to tighten it down and I'm not going to go ahead and explain your shutoff manifold because I'm pretty sure you guys can figure that out. However you want to, you know, go from this fitting to your propane line, that's up to you guys. Just make sure you got a shutoff valve and a regulator. Um, if you don't, you're stupid. Alright. So we are nice and lined up. All we got to do now, screw this on. Screw this on. We got a torch. Boom. Looks like I'm double fisting. So, torch done. This is the one that I've got running 
on my forge right now. It's a bigger entry orifice, but this quarter, inch and a quarter will do just fine. You can also have a smaller flare at the end. You don't necessarily need to have this big chunky thing. I just did that because it's easier than explaining how to cut off a piece of pipe and pressure fit it to the tip or weld it to the tip. You just screw that bad boy on there. Be careful when you're hooking this thing up and uh, make sure all your your fittings are terminated pr properly. You got enough pipe seal on there that they're not going to come loose. Um, pay attention to your chimney effect that it's not going to bake all that stuff out and cause a gas leak because, you know, yeah, gas is explosive. You got to be careful of that. I will be coming out with a better version. It's a little more, you know, aesthetically pleasing. It's not going to be so, you know, post apocalyptic looking. I'll post pictures of it on my Instagram, my Facebook, my Tumblr. I'll post links for it in this video. Uh, but there you go. That's how you build a torch. Go ahead and check out some of my other videos. I got tons of other ones with good information in them, some with horrible information in them. Um, a lot of them are my earlier stuff and uh, trying to correct that. Stepping away from the Lazy Smith name, um, trying to go for more Turner Forge. You probably noticed that, you know, given the channel's now called Turner Forge. Turner Forge is my new business. Um, trying to pump it up as much as I can. I have an Etsy page. I've got my own personal .com. Go ahead and give it a look. I'm gonna start selling some torches. I'm gonna try to do some hand tools. So that's it. And uh, so long, till next time, don't blow yourself up.